In the last session, we have seen how to use the bodies in SIF. So welcome to this session in which we will discuss about some important tips on SIF in both ECC and SCM system. We have seen the T-code CFM1 and CFM2 in ECC. There are a couple of T-codes in ECC like CFM3 in which you can activate or deactivate integration models and you can do that in the background. CFM4 in which you can display the integration models like we have a model by the name training and then we had a logical system and application. If I specify the model name, I can see all the, so this model name has logical system EWM CLNT400 and we have created these many APU applications. Now, it might be needed sometimes that you need to delete certain integration models. Like in this case, we have two integration models to move the master data, the material master data. We have used this model to move the material and that was something that we had to delete because it was not successful. The movement was not successful. So if I have to delete this integration model, how can I do that? First of all, I need to identify this model contains what all data. I can select the model and go to display and details. I can see that it contains this material. I also want to see that this material is part of which all models. So there is a T code CFM7 in which I can see that this specific material, sorry CFM5, I can see which this material is part of which all models. I select the material line and see that this material is part of these many models. In this case, it is part of two models. If I want to delete this model, the only thing is that the model must be deactivated. You cannot delete any active integration model. So you can see the status is inactive. So first step is you have to deactivate the integration model and then So you can activate or deactivate the integration model using CFM3. So any active model you want to delete, first you deactivate using CFM3. And then in CFM7, you specify the information, the name of the model. So I am copying the logical system and the APU application. I need to delete this model. I select the line and there is a delete button. Now if I go back and see that this material is part of which all models, I can see now that it exists in only <coughs> It exists in only one active integration mode. We also have T codes like CFM4 to display the model, CFM5 to find out the objects which are contained inside the model, CFM6 you want to change the model, you want to change the objects, open this, select the object, okay it doesn't exist because we have deleted it. Select the model, modify, it takes you to the change integration model and change the object or add the additional objects that you want to add inside that. And CFM7 we have discussed delete integration model. So these are the main T codes in SIF in ECC. Mode of data transfer. You can have two type of data transfer mode. When it comes to SIF, I should say three types. So you have manual mode, like we have seen we manually created the model, we manually activated the model, it's a two-step activity. So I can manually SIF the objects. Second is, I can use bad jobs. 
So in a batch mode, there are two reports which you can use and you create the variant and then you can create a batch job. The name of the reports are Create Integration Model, R-I-M-O-D-G-E-N, that is Generate Integration Model and Activate Integration Model. These are the names of SE38 reports that you can use for batch job creation. And then third mode is online data transfer. You want to create an object, you want the automatic transfer to the connected SCM system. Then that is known as BTE, Business Transaction Event. You can use BTE, you can enable the change pointers and you can move the data in an online mode. Now, let me take you, some, take you to some important tips in SAP SCM system. We have seen the SIF, we have seen the supply chain unit, the location master. I open the EWM system. Supply chain unit of shipping point. So we have these many supply chain units. We created a plant by the name DP91. It is supply chain unit of type 1001 and has business attribute PLOC. If I see the supply chain unit of customer, it also has Business attribute PLOC because we discussed any object of ECC which has master data, which has the address data, it will be created as supply chain unit of business attribute PLOC that is planning location. So if you see the supply chain unit of plant, shipping point, customer, vendor, they all have this business attribute along with the address data which is coming via ECC and the longitude latitude information which is created using the geo coordinates which is created using the internal geocoder. Same way, if I see the external vendor, it has location type, supply chain unit type 1011 and business attribute PLOC. Now if I see the shipping point, it has not just PLOC but also two additional business attributes. Why? Because if you see a shipping point in ECC as well, it acts as a shipping office, it acts as a shipping point in the sales order, in the delivery document, in the outbound delivery, and it is doing the goods dispatches, sending the goods, loading activities and shipping activities. If I see the shipping point on the MM side, it is considered as a goods recipient or goods receiving point in SAP MM, in the PO, in the inbound documents. Same way in the, EC, in the EWM system, it is considered as a shipping office, as a header data in the transactional documents. If you see any outbound document in EWM, shipping office will be the header data. If you see any inbound document, the receiving office will be the header data. So what it is acting as, whether it is a shipping office in outbound documents or whether it is a receiving office in inbound documents, the business attribute automatically populates based upon the kind of function it is performing. That is why when you shift a shipping point, it not only gets a business attribute PLOC, but as well also shipping office and receiving office. Now, how to delete a location and a supply chain unit and the transportation zone concept in SIF. If I see, if I see the customer, if I see the customer now, it got disconnected, I open ECC system again,
In this customer, I have used a transportation zone and the country is DE. When this customer got shift, the transportation zone also came to EWM, came to TM and it created a location of type 1005 that is a transportation zone so you can see this so when a customer or your know, vendor or shipping point anything has any object has a transportation zone that also comes to TM system to the SCM system and it creates a transportation zone with the prefix of the country and the customer master it gets assigned as a location so this tagging automatically happens so this customer automatically sits in this transportation zone in TM system also like it is part of the transportation zone in ECC it is the part of the transportation zone in TM so system first creates a transportation zone in TM it is also a location but of location type 1005 if I go to and see the location master and I paste it here I can see that it is a location of type 1005 1005 is nothing but transportation zone now suppose I need to delete this customer suppose I need to delete any customer any location how can I delete a location So let us see, I want to delete this customer, I want to delete this location. First of all, I need to see the dependencies. This location is, this customer is created as a location in TM. It is created as a supply chain unit in EWM. So it is created as a location, as a supply chain unit and I want to delete this. I want to delete the location, I want to delete the supply chain unit. Technically they are the same object. So there are two reports. First let me show you the name of the reports. This is a report to delete the locations in TM. SAP APO delete locations. and you have this is the report to delete the supply chain units so I paste the name of the reports the name itself is self-explanatory by the name you get to understand what it is going to what is what it is going to do what action it is going to perform now suppose I want to delete this location so first I need to check the that in which places this location has been used I can do that in two places I can go to the where used list and I can see that if I select this object it is used in two places it is used in a model it is also used in a zone that we saw that the locations they go and sit in the zone first I need to delete the assignment in the location in the zone as well as in the model so I go to location master and I go to assign model I select the model and I unassign delete object so I am unassigning the combination of model and the object 
So location deleted from so one model. If I go back, I see that it is not assigned to any model now, but it is still assigned to a zone. If I need to delete this location, I need to unassign from the zone as well. I go to the zone master again. It's not opened anywhere. It is open. I select the zone, go to the locations tab. Select the customer and unassign. So this is now not assigned to any zone. If I go to the where used list again, Okay, I have assigned, deleted something else looks like. This is the one which I need to delete. And I save it. I can optionally go to the T code W U F. Select the object location. Execute by specifying the location. Now it is not assigned to any object. So I can go back to the location master and delete locations. System has automatically, system will execute the bad job with the, the report that I showed you. And if I try to open it now, again, oh, it is still showing up. Okay. Let me go to change mode. First you need to put the deletion flag. Then only you can delete the location. So I am putting the deletion flag in place and then I am executing again delete location function. Now it should go away. You can see it doesn't exist now. The location does not exist. Same way if I go to supply chain unit, it doesn't exist. Because technically they are same object. You delete the location, the supply chain unit goes away. You delete the supply chain unit, the location goes away. So that is about some important things I wanted to discuss in the important tips section in this lecture. Important tips in ECC and important tips in SEM system. And I conclude with this topic, with this uh, training on SAP code interface. Thank you so much.